Okay, welcome back to the lesson. So this is a nice uh, jazzy bar lounge musical progression, a, a, a sequence of fifth. beginner you can do it because it's the same left hand plus the same like the right hand and it's only two patterns in the hand in, in, in the fingers this one and that one this one that one this one that one this one that one this one so you start on the F which is the three fellows here the first one below the first of the three fellows is F And then you just skip one of the white keys. And it's with a pinky, skip one, middle finger, skip one, pointer finger, skip one white key. And press the E with a thumb. And the same you do here. F, skip this one, that one, skip this one, skip this one. With the right hand is uh, thumb, index, middle finger, little finger. First chord. Play it with me. You can play it like arpeggio. You can play them all together. You can play around whatever you want. And then you change. And this is the own. The, this is one of the two changes you do, and that's it. These two fingers and these two fingers, the, the, the upmost, uh, what's it called in English? The, the, the highest of the two of the four two fingers, which is here the middle finger and the pinky on the right hand side, go just one white key down. And here it is uh, the upright two fingers of the left hand, it's C and E with index and thumb, and you, you go. You go down to uh, just one, one white key each. These two stay and these two stay. So, these two fingers stay. You only change the rightmost, I already said that in English, the rightmost, uh, the, the, the fingers which are right, <laughs> the two right fingers. Yeah, you only change the two right fingers, which is middle finger and pink on the left on the right hand side and index and thumb on the left hand side and just one white key down. One white key down left hand, okay? That's the first of two changes you have to learn. change the second of the two changes is now the right two fingers stay where they are and the left two fingers go one step down so it's the thumb of the right hand and the index of the right hand get each one step down these two stay and the left fingers the two left fingers of the left hand go one step down and this is the same uh, hand like it was before here First, the right two fingers go down one step, one uh, right key, white key, and then the left two fingers go down. And guess what? What's happening now? Happening now? Same again. The right two fingers go two down, the other stay, and then the left two fingers go down. And the same, right, left. Okay, slowly. F A C E. E. The same chord, left hand, right hand. You know, I know you have to spread the fingers. You get used to it, believe me. Okay, 
Then the right two fingers at the same time go down. And now the left two fingers go one white key down. Again the right two fingers. And the left two fingers. And the right two fingers. And the left two fingers. Just rehearse this. It's just two changes. It's this is the first change with the two fingers here and the two fingers there go down, one white key, and then the two fingers here and the two fingers there go one key down. Right hand and left hand, the right two fingers go one white key down, and now left hand and right hand, the left two fingers go one down, and so on until you land on the C. And you can do the arpeggio like. Single tone. And if you want, you can dub this. You know, these are the twins here. And on the next twins, you start the C again. And all together, it goes like this. If you go with the beat on the left hand side, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Like you're playing in a bar or in a hotel lounge, even if you're a total beginner, sounds very jazzy, bluesy, or jazzy bar lounge, sophisticated, little bit easy going. keys are fine. You can you can feel which of the white keys is good to play. This is a good one. This is not too good because you want to solve it, you know. This is good. This not, then you change to this.
okay, you got the idea, you can play around with it. 